Hey, I'm Mark. And I'm Teresa. Come hang out with us today. On my Fix It Up Life. <laughs> Sanding walls before you paint? Do it the hide way, not the hard way, with Hyde's Dust Free Sander. Attach to your wet dry vac and go. No drywall dust on your furniture, no tough cleanup when you're done. Hide tools are available at the Home Depot. Welcome to my Fix It Up Life! live hi guys i'm Teresa, and i am mark and we're talking with gail from my repurposed life and we're talking to her about a roadside treasure <laughs> stuff she finds and b why she stole our name our name <laughs> <laughs> what you stole my name you stole no my i'm name. kidding i'm <laughs> kidding we probably took yours no, we didn't take each other's. It's sort of like, you know, when there's a good idea, I always say whenever we have a good idea, there's probably 10 other people having a similar idea at the same time because it's a good idea. Like when I invented zippers when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah Mark totally invented zippers. No, we didn't. <laughs> how, how are you, Gail? We haven't seen you since the Krylon spray down. I'm doing very well, thanks. It's so good to see you all again. I miss you already. Aww, oh, big that's hug. so sweet. Group hug. Group hug. Aww. Aww. That felt so good. That actually didn't feel like anything because, you know, <laughs> it's pixelated. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know, roadside treasure is something I think about all the time because, well, we have in our town, we have the truck that goes by on trash day every week. And the truck is the like the truck that collects. They put all the stuff in from people's, yeah. you know. Oh, you're talking about the junker guys. The junker guys, and they're oh. picking through everything, and they come by regularly. They're looking for all the metal. Yes. yes. That's in there. But I think about that though, like going through and picking through and trying to figure out what's good and what's not good from flea markets, from garage sales, from discards, from friends and family. And all the cool stuff that you do to repurpose things and all the things you do to inspire everybody that engages with you on Facebook that you have like so many people showing all their awesome, you know, repurposed treasures too. I think it that's really pretty cool. is, Yes, it really is catching on. I want to know what's the last thing you picked up on the curb, Teresa. Oh my goodness. Wow. I'm not allowed to. Wow. Oh. Mm. Uh, well, I am the uh, trash captain. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if you know that. Uh, I elected myself after I had a dream about it. Yes. And, yeah. <laughs> so you put it out there, but you don't bring it in. Sometimes I'm tempted all the time. I see, like, for example, I was in a doctor's office recently and there was another office moving. There's a sign somewhere, a piece of paper, free office furniture. I practically wow. missed my appointment to go in and see what they had. Really? Yeah. Well, you did. You picked up a desk once and didn't really work out from the roadside. But I'm not allowed to take anything in because I save everything and well, I say I'm going to do something with it. And he thinks I'm a hoarder because I have things that I am planning to do things with. So I'm not allowed to bring anything else that's into the house until I do all of my projects. Well, I'm always afraid to throw something out because as soon as I do, I'll need it. So I tend to hold on to things too long. That's so true. But you yes. are going through, for my repurposed life, all kinds of these roadside treasures and roadside finds to create stuff on a regular basis. Like you're going through your inventory, as it were. Mm -hmm. Yes. I go and pick from things. I rarely have to buy things. Buy some new lumber, but usually if I need a, a stick or a spindle or a hook or a latch, I have it on hand because... It's in the window department or the door department or the cabinet door department. They all have little departments where I store my things. Is your stuff organized? Today, yes. It's very organized. <laughs> <laughs> that is really good, you know, to be able to have all kinds of things to pick from. I oh wish my... I could have that at my house. I Mark. love it. We're going to because we're remodeling part of our home to oh. create some storage. And I just had 
some rocking ideas that we'll share at another time. They probably have nothing to do with my stuff at all. No. Probably not. No. Yeah, well, you, yeah. Don't what throw it in the dumpster, okay? Put it <sighs> in the curb so that someone else can pick it up. Yes. I usually put my things out about a week before garbage day. So that way, if I don't want something, someone else has the opportunity to get it before the garbage truck. Yes. I, I remodeled a kitchen once, old kitchen, and it had one of those cast iron, actually I've done this twice, cast iron porcelain covered old wash basins, you know, mm. with the two sides. Yeah. You know, those are about 100 years old, give or take. Not and uh, I, the first one I did, I put that out, put it on sawhorses. It weighs a couple hundred pounds probably. Might have lasted two hours. Yes. Oh, see, that's so much better than going to the dump. Well, have you ever seen, you, you know, that show, How I Met Your Mother? Have you ever seen the episode where they have, like, they call it, like, the triangle out in front of their, their stoop where they put things out there? They literally would put stuff out there, and they'd turn around, and it would be gone. So it was oh. like, it. so somebody would take it so fast because they're in New York City. Like, that was the premise of it. If you, as soon as you put right. it outside, it's gone. Oh, is somebody it like else has it. The Bermuda Triangle? Is that what the... No, they called it something else, some kind of other triangle. I, I hadn't seen but... that one. I had to give you an inquisitive look because I thought, we watched that show together, dear. <laughs> Apparently not. You're Apparently cheating not. on me with that so, show. I want to talk about roadside discards and things that you have upcycled. And how do you know? How do you know if something has enough integrity, you know, structural or whatever, so that you know that you can work with it and make it into something new? Like, what do you look for? Uh, you know what? I just bring it home and examine it later. Like one of the pieces, uh, it was New Year's Eve. It was pitch black dark, and it was a dresser. A friend called me and said, it's on the road. Come get it if you want it. And I did. I had no idea what I was picking up and putting in the truck. I just brought it home and examined it afterwards because if I don't want it, I'll put it out to my curb and pass it on to the next junker. That's really good. Do you have to tip your garbage men to take all of the stuff sometimes just no. to make sure the flow? No, I have an excellent garbage company, so no, I don't have to tip them. And most of the time it's not there when garbage day rolls around. It's gone already. Oh, that's awesome. I well, like that. On My Repurpose Life, you made a project out of two cabinet doors that I love. It was just, it was a little bench so small oh. that you could put mm -hmm. dolls on it. That was um, my latest, yes. Uh -huh. because I thought that was great. I went to the cabinet door department and tried to find two cabinet doors where that, that were similar and almost the same size, and I found two. That's really nice. Perfect. Perfect. Was it a doll bench? Because I won't lie to you, the dolls were a little creepy. <laughs> Those were my daughter's dolls. They were a little creepy, and they were oversized, <laughs> but it really would make a nice planter garden for the garden. A bench, you know, to put really yeah. bright, colorful flowers on. So it doesn't have to be for dolls or kids. It could be, you know, it's multi-purpose repurposing. So when you're looking at something like that, so you you went out to find doors to make that project. Do you usually have a project that you want to make, or do you let the objects speak to you? They speak to me, and sometimes it might take a year before something actually hits me. I have to turn it upside down and sideways, and I'm like, oh, this what is what it wants to be. So that it's, it's a process for sure. It's quiet for a while, and then finally mm -hmm. it says, I would like to be a dresser with a sink in it. Yep. It yells at me. Yep, that. <laughs> That's really cool. I like that. What did you make out of that sink? You, uh, I'm sorry, the sink. The dresser that you found on New Year's Eve. I made it into a media center, uh, sort of looks like card catalog. I sent a picture. Uh, you might have it there. It's um, it was missing. Some of the drawers were just not very good, so I took the two drawers out, and then there it is. Do you see it? Yeah. Beautiful. Oh wow, that and is it, awesome. And it wasn't. You know, it's people say, "Oh, I had that," or "My grandmother had that," but the integrity of the wood. It's pressed wood. It's not anything. You know, it's not a family heirloom. You know, right. calm down, people. I'm not ruining expensive antiques. It's junk. It was in the garbage. You know, I brought yeah. it home and saved it. Now, how do you deal with that kind of response? For people, there are a lot of people that say, if it's made out of wood, you shouldn't paint it. You shouldn't do anything to it. You should leave it as it is. Typically, I ignore it. 
because it's just, you know, it's going to be there. There are people that are like that, and you can't convince them otherwise. A lot of people don't like painted furniture, painted cabinets, but, you know, it's, it's mine, and if that's what I want to do, then I do. And uh, not every piece, though. I really draw the line at family pieces. And I just, a couple years ago, I redid a dresser that my daughter begged me not to paint because it was my mother's, and I said, okay. Right. And I refinished it. So right. that's where I draw the line, family ha pieces. Have you found in your travels for treasure that piece that you're talking about, that heirloom piece that someone else threw away, you know, some rifts on white oak, gorgeous sideboard or or whatever? No, I usually find junk, yeah. Um, I've come across a lot of things, but my limit on thrifting, if I don't find it on the curb, is $5, sometimes 10 Because I love I just, that you have a limit. Well, you that... have to. It stops the impulse buying. See, that's great, though. It gives, well, like, your whole world, like, all your projects are in that world. I think that's awesome. I only spend 5000 when I go out. So I'm okay if I start spending up to $5 on random things? As, as long as the random thing A goes to dumpster B, then random thing C minus random thing A2, so we make room for random thing C. Do you need me to flow chart this for you? I think I'm sending you to Gail's house for a while so that oh, she no. can like reprogram you. Two out, one in. No. Yeah, no. gone. I'm in charge of that, by the way. Trash no. captain. He thinks all of my things aren't worth keeping. That's not true. Mm -hmm. But if do you we have... have a wood pile in the basement of all kinds of things from you. Half of them are your projects. We do have my stuff in that pile. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I've got flooring for the house that I know we're going to need when we redo a bathroom. Mm. So that's most of it. The yeah. rest is a project she might do. But I'm like, this, this piece of molding, I'm sure we could use it for something. Oh, we have an old door. And we do. And we will use that for something somewhere. I think we need Gail to come to our house. Oh, would you come to our house and work on that door for me so I no! don't have to? I mean, oh, this, so we can see. Not it. to... Not to work, but to sort of referee and say, you know, Mark, she can make that. It's true. It's possible. It'll be beautiful. I have it's no doubt. It's of keeping. So I love that you inspire everyone to share their pictures. I think it was every Sunday you have. Yes, you know, it's Sunday Share Day on my Facebook page. And people, there are a lot of bloggers who we have an outlet to share our things. And there are people who don't have blogs and they only have Facebook pages. So Sunday Share Day is where people can share their most recent finds because we love to see junk other people get and the deals they get. I don't know why, but people love it. It's some of my most popular blog posts so they can share their most recent finds or their best project. Well, I hope that I'll be sharing something soon. So do I. Me too. I'm looking forward <laughs> to it. I'm going to hold you to it. I'm going to totally do that. That's, I think that's fantastic. Yeah. We'll, we'll get well, some stuff done. We'll take it from the bag, the box, or the thing that it's even not in, just lay in there, and we'll turn it into something we can then give away. <gasps> what? Oh, give away. Yeah. Give away. Give away. Can I what? enjoy what I make for a little while before? Four I minutes. It... What do you think, Four. Gail? I think she should pick something off the curb. The next thing you see, Teresa, I think you should bring it home tomorrow. Yes. Okay. okay. This yes, ma'am. What I'm to do. Yes, ma'am. I will. Save it. What? What? That's a high five. <laughs> yeah. It's also me raising my hand to ask well, a question. Well, we have just about 30 seconds left. What are you going to ask? In the 30 we have left. No pressure. How much office furniture do you find that you just roll on by the, the desk chair? That's a popular yeah, one. I know. And that and the old entertainment centers, you know, that nobody <laughs> needs anymore. I think yeah. that is the thing that is gone. It's the dinosaur. And that's yeah. what I see a lot of, that entertainment uh, starts with an S. Furniture, you know, that we used to have back in the 80s with, put together with the little funny screws, you know. So that's, that's what it. I see mostly. So I you, have to, you have to follow Gail and yes. my repurposed life. Yes. Find out what you can make for under $5. And share it on Sundays on her Facebook page. And thank you for hanging out with us and talking roadside finds with Gail for my repurposed Ooh. life. Keep your design and DIY inspired well, you're on the move with more My Fix It Up Life tips and ideas, follow us and Gail on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And make sure to check out the next 
my Yay. fix it up a life alive. Yay. Thank you, Gail. Thank you, guys. Great to see you and hang out. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.